Oh, hi. Hi. That's Jacob. And that's Mickey. And this is Forrest. Yeah, uh, you probably can't see him. But wait, there's a little ear. There he is. Hi, Forrest. Anyway, we're coming at you from the Po House. House. Okay, so now back to a movie review. Mm -hmm. And then this was a, from a couple of days ago. It's a good thing we write our answers down. Otherwise, I might mm -hmm. not remember and I'd have to watch Forget the movie watch. again. Okay, so we watched. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. I can't see. I can't see it now. Keep going. Um, Keep going. Pull it back a little. Airheads. We saw Airheads. Back up. You're getting clear. Ta -da. Oh my gosh. It's on a double feature, so that's why yeah. we're kind of like trying to hide the other Right. Half. We don't want you to see what else we saw. Stop looking at yourself. Okay. So anyway, it was, it's rated PG-13, directed by Michael Lehman, produced by Robert Simmons and Mark Berg. It stars Brendan Fraser, Steve Buscemi, Adam Sandler, Chris Farley, mm -hmm. Michael Keaton. I'm sorry, not Michael Keaton. Michael McKean. I'm sorry, Michael. That man's not in this. I know. Judd Nelson. Ernie Hudson is in it. Amy LeCain. Can't read my own writing. And it's also got David Arquette, Joe Mantegna, and Michael Richards, who plays Kramer in Seinfeld. All these people yes. are in this movie made in 1994. And probably some of you have never even heard of it. But anyway, you want to tell us some synopsis? Forrest does, apparently. <laughs> He liked the movie, I guess. Uh -huh. um, Maybe he didn't. Maybe that's what that is. It's just these three guys that are in a rock band in a very bad rock. Well, I mean, they're not bad, but they're just, they're trying to be up and coming, up and comers. Um, and trying to catch a break. Yeah, they're trying to catch a break. They're trying to get signed to a record company. And so mm -hmm. in the process of this and trying to figure out different ways to do that, they go to a radio station because they're just like, oh, if we just get a song played on the air, that should work. Um, because that's how this other rock band That's how another band did it. So they go. Um, and they're in L.A. Yeah, they're in L.A., of course. So <clears> they go. <throat> and inadvertently, they managed to end up, they somehow managed to take the station hostage, basically, with water guns, of course. That look real. That look real, because that's the, back when they made all the water guns look real. Yeah. Um, so they ended up taking this radio station hostage. Um until they can get their song played because they because it was going to just work but then their tape got destroyed so they have to get a new tape right and so that's kind of the gist of the gist of the movie right how it's it going well i liked it because it was fun it was very fun and there's a lot of laughs in it i mean we did laugh aloud mm -hmm. out loud a lot uh lots of good music throughout like if you yeah. like rock and roll music it's got a lot of good music it was ridiculous of course yeah. um that very, like I said, very rock and roll. So what did you like? I mean, again, it was fun. Um, yes. I'm cheating. <laughs> I don't care. This is why we write it down. Because we watched it a couple days ago, so it's not in my yeah. head. Um, it was rather funny, too. Like, it was, yeah. I oh. forgot how funny it was, actually. Um, yeah. And then, like, because then since we just did, like, what, two Abbott and Costello movies, it's got a different type of wit to it because it's still very witty but just different than what like Abbott and Costello had yeah so it's witty but it's different and it's um because it was made in a different time for a different audience too right. very radically different times mm -hmm. and just everything about it was different so um so this one was more raunchy more vulgar with like the humor mm -hmm. but that's because it was made in 94 right so and I feel that was very rock and roll too yeah rock is yeah, I mean, it if sex, you, drugs, and rock and roll? Right, yeah. I mean, you think about Motley Crue and um, Van Halen and all those mm -hmm. kinds of bands, you know. It's, it's, like you said, sex, drugs, and rock yeah, and roll. So that was, that was the thing. And that's kind of what I didn't like about it was the vulgarity. And, you know, back in the day, it might surprise you, but I used to swear like a sailor. And I used to be very vulgar in what I said. And um, <clears throat> But I've grown up, I guess. And I didn't yeah. think it would ever happen. But, yeah, it just... It, it doesn't appeal to me anymore to hear the vulgarity, but again, I get it. You know, that was, you know, the rock era. Um, so that's the only thing that I really didn't like about it was the vulgarity. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't much I didn't like. I mean, I think because the last time I watched it, I don't remember how old we were, but it was definitely a couple of years ago at least. Um, and I, I enjoyed it more this time. And maybe it's because I'm older and I'm probably like right in that age range where that this movie's made for. So there mm -hmm. really wasn't much that I didn't like. I mean, I kind of just ignore the vulgarity. So I don't know. 
Ow, I need it. Anyway, <clears throat> it's funny because um, what I usually do is, is while the movie's going, I'll jot down some answers as it's going through. You know, like if I see something that I like, um, I'll, I'll put it down. Or if it's something that I'm like, Ugh, then I'll write that. Whatever. So most of the time I have my answers and then I'll ask Jacob, what did you like? What did you not like? Blah, blah, blah. And so he gives me his answers. For the, the characters slash actors, we start off exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Ian was great. Ian yeah. was played by Joe Mantigna. Mantigna. These people and their names. Jeez, Louise. Okay, so anyway, him. And you know him from one of the cop TV shows. He I'm pretty sure it's Criminal Minds. Criminal Minds, I think so as well. So he's always like got that business suit on and everything. So this was, he played a DJ, always drinking beer. And it was just so fun to watch him in this role, first of all. And plus he was just a great character. Mm -hmm. And then also Pete, he was ridiculous. He was basically Kramer. Yeah. In this movie. It was so funny. Yeah. So he was definitely the comic relief, but he acted like Kramer. And, um, yeah, basically. That was fun. So then I also like the one cop. I think he must have been, um, I don't know that he was FBI or if he was just like a bomb squad guy or I don't know who he, he was a cop that was on a special team. So he comes in. He was a psycho wiener. So I don't oh, know. The older guy? Yeah. You liked him? Well, he was just crazy. You know, it's like. That made it ridiculous, you know. I mean, there were some was crazy. things that were kind of realistic, but then this was made it really crazy. But then in, Chris Farley also made a fun cop. <laughs> if you can picture Chris Farley as a cop. Yeah. He improvises. That's all I'll say. And then yeah. also Pip. He was kind of fun. That was a, that was a Adam Sandler's character. Mm -hmm. You've yeah. seen Adam Sandler. Yeah. You've seen the kind of roles that he does. This is completely different than anything else I've ever seen him in. So he's, he's the drummer of he's this drummer. rock band, but he's also the chick magnet where, you know, he plays this like quiet guy and all the chicks are just drawn to him. Yeah. It's just, it's, mm -hmm. it's funny. And so Jacob also liked, I liked Ian and I like Pete for the same reasons. Basically, I'm not going to reiterate. That's just silly. Um, David Arquette, he's like a surfer stoner guy in this with bleach blonde, bleach blonde hair. hair. <laughs> he's super funny. <laughs> what okay so it's in frame so what <laughs> she's trying to help she's trying um oh and then um kayla which was brendan's chaz girlfriend. Yeah. girlfriend super pretty but she's like bipolar or something because she's like crazy totally she flips on a dime <laughs> Like yeah. one literally one second she can be all like you know loving on chaz or whatever and then he says something or whatever, and then they start arguing again, and then she throws a chair through a window. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> Psycho. So well, that's rock bit. and roll, babe. So overall thoughts. First of all, what in the world is a butt puppet? What is that? I can't even, nothing even comes to mind. A butt puppet. Like, how does that even work? Look what the cat did. Horace, what did you do? <laughs> Anyway, so besides that, it was a very fun movie. He's licking my glass. Okay, so that was a very fun movie. Um, it was an underdog movie. You know, these mm -hmm. guys are the underdogs, and I won't tell you how it ends, but it's it kind of not what you expect to happen. Yeah. Uh, and they use sort very of. creative insults. Yeah. Yeah, like like I said, butt puppet. What the? I don't even know. I can't even say some of the stuff that they said. Yeah. But anyway, and then your overall thoughts. It was fun. It was great. I enjoyed it all. Um, and yeah, the, I think my point on that whole thing was people that, because everyone's always cursed, basically, and insulted other people. That's always been a thing. But I don't know what it is, but like people today don't seem to have the creativity with language that they used to back then. No, it's just F this, F that. Yeah, basically, everyone just overuses the F word, which I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. One time to and really emphasize a point, a point, point. Right, but supposedly those people who say the f bomb a lot are really intelligent. I don't buy it for a second. Yeah. That doesn't show a whole lot of intelligence. The only thing you can come up with is an f bomb. Anyway, yeah. continue. Sorry. But yeah, <laughs> like if you use it once to like really emphasize a point, like you know you're mad or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. But if you're consistently using the same word over and over again. What are you doing? You're not Whereas, very like, creative. Back then, they said all kinds of stuff. <laughs> they stuff said all that, kinds of stuff. I mean, I kind of feel like I need to go back and just watch the insults again, just so that I can. Yeah. It was it was too much. 
too much. But it was funny. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. in that vein. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. And we give it a... Big smiley face. Yeah. Okay. So, yes. Um, it was a fun movie. Just, mm -hmm. you know, again, a little bit of vulgarity in there. And it is PG-13, so it's not terrible. Um, yeah. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Yeah. It made me laugh. I like things that make me laugh. Mm -hmm. Actually, that, actually, it's not too hard to do. I kind of hope we get to a scary movie soon, though, because I know the next one's not scary. Not either. at all. The next one's it's a not, family movie. Yeah, it's a family movie. It's not a comedy, at least, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, okay, well, you know the drill. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit yes. the notification bell. Yes. Share these with your friends, too. And let's get a mm -hmm. conversation going down below because we value your input and nobody is saying anything. So talk no. to us. Tell us what's up. What's on your mind? What did you think of this movie? Um, let's be, just be kind and respectful. We don't have to be nasty about it, but, you no. know, leave some comments. We want to hear from you. Thank you. I think we're done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Until next time. Toodles. Bye. Oh, that's Jacob. And that's Mickey. <laughs> Leaving. No. Coming from the pole house. Bye, toodles. Bye. <laughs>